I had come out on this run to Kettlewell in Wharfdale, one of my favourite places to run in the Yorkshire Dales, and to tackle a run that had been on my bucket list for quite a while. The lesser known Yorkshire Three Peaks, or the Wharfdale Three Peaks. It's much quieter than its notorious sibling, but I think it's a much more scenic run with better underfoot running conditions. Running through the wildflower meadows in Upper Wharfdale has to be some of Yorkshire's finest. Starting and finishing in Kettlewell, the route is 35 kilometres with 1400 metres of ascent and takes in Great Wernside and Buckton Pike on the northeast side of the River Wharf before crossing and coming back on the southwest side over Burke's Fell before dropping down into Kettlewell. last year and I'll be interested to see how much slow was going up today than back then. I suppose that was a race. It's been glorious weather all week, like mid-twenties, not much wind. Now of course we get to the weekend, it's clouded over and there's a wind of, I think it was forecast at 30 with 40 gusts. I don't think we're quite there yet, but even so, some nice running conditions. Glorious running. I think, I'm not mistaken, I can actually see the the more normal Yorkshire Three Peaks off in the distance. Pen again. Nice long descent now. Hopefully, I should be able to make up a bit of time on this. And do you know where this kicks me out? I think I pretty much follow this down until I get to the wall. And follow that along to Yock and Fight. Going a bit of the other side. Back. I seem to have found a bit of shelter. No. Wind now, though, which is nice. <laughs> to watch me step on this going down. Thank you. 
think this is Cray. Not sure. We have to look it up. That's the white line behind me. Traverse along a bit before dropping down into the wall. Very, very pretty. Peaceful. You still think, oh god, they're bloody big. <laughs> Hope they don't make a move towards me. Nearly at. 20k now, I think. I think that is yuck and fight, and I've just gone through. And then I've uh, crossed back over the wharf. Although it's dry, I've never seen it. I no on water before. But yeah, just heading back down the valley now. I've followed the road for a few hundred metres before going uphill again, final big climb, take me up onto the ridge and then along to Burkfell I think. Yeah, not much wind down in the valley, sun's just popped out. Glorious, glorious running. Walking boots picking this up. I've just sent in the legs recently. I'm feeling it. And then hopefully I can get going. And there'll be kind of undulations up and down. A bit of rolling from hillside, but Get a nice steady pace. Should take me up to the Calwell. Well, they're still they're 12 minutes ago. Hopefully, it's raining from the top. So, flat up ahead. I think I'll be running into them the whole way back. to tag something along here. I'm not actually sure what it is. Googled the route. At least bit out and back on it. Why not seeing as I'm up here? But yeah, that, that uphill was hard work. My uh, glutes are not best pleased with me. 
rain in the distance. Just hoping that holds off and the wind isn't too unkind. But anyway, onwards. The path followed a broad ridge for 10 kilometres, tagging the summit of Burksfell before dropping down into Kettlewell. Given the dry conditions this made for lovely running, but when wet I could see this being quite a boggy section. The weather had closed in a bit by this point but didn't spoil the views. As you start the descent you get great glimpses of Kettlewell below, and again the final grassy slope down made for a fun and fast descent before hitting the road at the bottom and crossing the wharf again and back to the car.